Right, Sean. Thank yeah. you. Of course, with the heat and the storms, it may be uh, hard to think about recess, but the big question now is, is recess at risk? Some schools are cutting back on play time to make more time for class time, but is that a good idea? Joining us now to talk about the importance of recess is Tammy Silverman. She is president and CEO of the Indiana Youth Institute. Thanks for joining us right here. You. you know, that's a big question. First of all, why are schools actually cutting back on recess? Well, we know schools have a lot of pressures right now, and particularly that, that really stress that's put on them to achieve those test scores. And a lot of the preps for the test and all that test preparation, you know, besides the regular reading, writing, arithmetic, all right. those kinds of things can account for a lot of time, and they're looking for ways to squeeze in all that preparation. Some schools have gone to cutting back on recess. And the interesting thing is it's actually important to have playtime, to get out and enjoy yourself. But why is this so important? Well, the physical aspects, we can all understand that. Kids need to go outside and blow off some of that energy and steam <laughs> in a healthy setting, right? But what, what was interesting to us is the research also says that, one, it helps yes. them cognitively. Yes. Obviously, you can see how that helps with communication skills. Maybe if there's a disagreement on the playground or something like that, mm -hmm. somebody cuts in front of somebody else, they have to negotiate that, and they have to talk through it. So that's a benefit. The other thing is the American Academy of Pediatrics actually says when kids get that opportunity to go outside, when they do go back in the classroom, they're actually more focused and ready to learn. So they've been learning a lot in the classroom to begin with, but it sounds like they're also learning right while they're actually taking they a break from learning. Yes, and again, if we all think back on that, you, you, I'm sure you can think of a time when maybe something happened on the playground that wasn't great, right? And so kids have that interaction in a setting that is unstructured. They have to navigate it. They have to figure out what they're going to do. But at the same time, that teacher or, or monitor is still there. So it's a safe environment that allows them a little unstructured creativity. So they learn a lot of skills out there on the playground. Yeah, I'm looking at this video of kickback. brings back a lot of memories yes. of my elementary school years. But what can happen, however, if a child doesn't get this? You know, the video we're looking at now of them out enjoying themselves. What happens if that just kind of goes by the wayside? Well, again, we know that children, it's recommended that all kids, elementary kids, get 60 minutes of vigorous or moderate activity. So that's not just walking around. They really need to blow off that steam. They need to exercise those big muscle groups. You know, and if they don't have those opportunities, Opportunities, that energy is going to come out one place or another. And right. unfortunately, it could come out in the classroom in a way that's not so appropriate and beneficial. All right, Tammy, a lot of information that uh, hopefully school administrators will be taking into consideration as they plan the school year. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. here at